As if Tim Burton wasn't enough of a creepy yet mad genius already, what if he planned for Vincent, Nightmare Before Christmas, Corpse Bride, and Frankenweenie to all have one connection? This conspiracy states that all of Tim Burton's animated movies take place within the same universe, specifically that they're all about one boy and his dog. It all starts with Tim Burton's first stop motion film, Vincent. Vincent is all about a disturbed little boy who tried to turn his dog, Abercrombie, into a zombie, which resulted in the dog being given away. Abercrombie is then adopted by Victor, star of the 2012 Frankenweenie film, who then later renames him Sparky. So let's move on to Frankenweenie. And this conspiracy refers to the 2012 animated Disney version of this film, not Tim Burton's 1984 live action one. Anyway, I guess Victor's dog Sparky eventually dies for good and they bury him in a pet cemetery. Sparky becomes a spirit in an afterlife world called Halloween Town. He's then adopted by Jack Skellington, who renames him Zero. Supposedly, this connection to Sparky is why Zero's nose glows in the afterlife. This all leads to the second and final death of Sparky. Victor's parents buy him a new dog to help him get over the loss of Sparky, and Victor names the dog Scraps. When Scraps eventually dies, Victor loses it, runs away, and is eventually adopted by the Van Dorts. This all leads to the events of A Corpse Bride, where we see Scraps return just as a skeleton. Now let's take a look at all three dogs in question. You'll notice they're all about the same size with similar face structure. Okay, now back to the conspiracy. Victor then dies years later, and just like Zero, he becomes a spirit in another world. His previous experience in the underworld taught him that he needs to act and be scary. So he creates a new alias, Jack Skellington. Now, is this all true? Yeah, I don't think so. The biggest flaw in this conspiracy is a pretty big one. Corpse Bride is set in the late 1800s, while Frankenweenie takes place in the 1940s. So unless there's some unreleased sequel about Victor building a time machine, there's no way both Victors could be the same person. And another thing, Tim Burton didn't direct Nightmare Before Christmas. Burton came up with the story and preliminary sketches for Nightmare Before Christmas in 1982 while he was still at Disney, which is where he was until about 1984. He returned in 1990 after his success with Beetlejuice, Pee Wee, and Edward Scissorhands, Disney was finally excited to do Nightmare Before Christmas. However, Burton couldn't direct at the time because he was busy with Batman, so he gave the job to Henry Selleck. It's a bit of a technicality, but since Tim Burton didn't direct Nightmare Before Christmas, it doesn't really fit in his universe, especially since Henry Selleck made a lot of changes to the story. The reason all of the male leads in Tim Burton's films look the same is because they're all loosely based on Burton himself. The majority of Burton's films are based off of childhood stories or experiences he had growing up. Burton was very close with his dogs as a kid, so this is why every male character can be seen with a dog. And no, they're not necessarily all the same dog either. If we take a look at the series Family Dog, on which Burton was a character designer, we can gather that he just doesn't have a lot of variety when it comes to drawing dogs. While this is an interesting conspiracy, based on the inaccurate timeline and interviews with Burton stating otherwise, I'm gonna have to give the Tim Burton conspiracy one and a half Jack Skellingtons out of five. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Cartoon Conspiracy. If you agree with me or not, let me know in the comments below. If you're more interested in this conspiracy, you can check in the description below for some links I found while doing my research. If you click over here, you can get a preview for next week's episode, but make sure you subscribe to your channel Frederator and stay tuned. Thanks for watching.